This is uh, Milla, me, um, talking to myself. I have been spending a lot of time up here lately, looking at the spires of the cathedral, watching a plastic bag trapped in a tree go through its daily dramas. When I was 23, I made a documentary about love. I made it after my first major breakup, so with a broken heart that was searching for new identity and meaning, I asked everyone and anyone about love. And now, um, life is different. We make choices and time carries us forward. I miss loneliness. I miss the selves I might have been. So, my quest, we shall see. Where does it take me? What does love feel like for you? Love is self-emptying and is unlimited. For me, I think it's really hard to imagine getting everything from one person. Love is vulnerable, so you can be wounded by it. It's precarious, you can't control it. It's the greatest measure of behavior. There is no one definition I find. You've got a big heart full of love. Not daddy. You do love daddy. No, not daddy. <laughs> so do you have a definition of love? No, I mean, it's like it's not a problem unless it's a problem, or it's not a question unless it's a question. And is it love if it's a question? Is it that, what's what's that roommate quote? Like, your job is not to find love, but to remove all the barriers between you and love? How's your general state of anxiety about things? Pretty high. It's pretty high. I guess it's the unknown. When will we get to dance in a room with a bunch of people? When will all the queers and the artists and the weirdos get to congregate in a way that we need to? When will I get to see my girlfriend who is not on PEI? I was introduced to my girlfriend through a mutual friend just around the time the lockdown was starting. We've never met in person. Oh, I had a dream this morning as I was just like sort of waking up and there was this noise outside my window. I didn't know what it was. I imagined like my brain just thought that it was you in the kitchen making me breakfast. It's a good message. A few nights ago, like I had a dream where I was just like, with this person I, that I'd never met before. And I was just like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> well, we can dream. Yeah, yeah, we can dream. I thought a lot earlier on when I was like younger, but then I kind of just like buried those thoughts. The feeling of not being in the right body or not in the right societal role, I guess. Yeah, there's a term, uh, gender dysphoria, and it kind of just came back to me it was all just very like instant, like all at once. I was just like, oh, whoa, okay. And it's not like an easy process at all. It's not very fun to go through. I love you, Dad. I miss you lots. I wish you weren't so far away. I miss you more than that. I miss you more than I say because I just don't want to. Anyway, and anyway, it's good. I'm going to be dead. I hope I'm three years away from 90. In a way, it's better. You don't see me three or four times a week. Because when I go, it'll be really difficult for you. I don't worry about dying. I worry about you being miserable. I don't want you to be miserable. Have a good time, a big party. Do it like the Irish do. I cried for like three hours today. I can't figure out 
how to get Carly across the bridge. And I don't think they want anyone to come across the bridge. I get it. I don't want to bring cases here, but also I don't like border closures. I'm just thinking a little bit today about how many other people in the world are like unable to get to their people. I feel so sad, so sad. your mother, my loneliness disappeared. I was never lonely until she died. Then I was lonely again for another, well, up till now even, still lonely. It doesn't make it easier, love. Maybe moments, maybe the tone of our loneliness is a softer hum. But then suffering comes since that's what suffering does. Changing my name, it really kind of reassured me that my, a lot of my friends do care about me as much as they do. That they're willing to like, I don't know, in a way go through changes with me, you know? What's the point of love? It's not something with a point, with a, with a beginning and an end. If you try to tie up the loose ends and make one set of experience relate to another set of experience, which I did. I mean, I was on the edge of insanity trying to make the pieces fit, but they're not supposed to fit. If life was supposed to be coherent, it would be coherent. You're like on a raft and the raft is floating. That's as good as it gets except for little moments of ecstasy. But is love, at the end of the day, just a feeling? Everything's just a feeling. Even an idea is just a feeling. Well, but what do you mean by just? There's a screenshot with our heads beside each other. It kind of looks like we're lying beside each other. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it made me very happy. It's like, oh, I want another one of that, those. <laughs> right, so you lean your head in. Okay, I have to, well, where? Because <laughs> yeah, I, exactly this that. way? Yeah. Are we side by side? Because I don't have. Keep leaning, keep going. I have to be okay with myself, to be okay with the world and with other people. And that's like really hard for someone if you're not, you know, if you don't feel like you're identifying with who you really are. It has a lot to do with self-love when I found that I love myself a lot more now that I'm, you know, kind of accepting of myself. is a process. Love has different stages, like, like a life does. You can't experience it all at the same time. Love won't keep us from crisis. We come together, we come undone. But the pain of what divides us is made more quiet while we lie in the arms of someone. When chaos comes, and we ache to be united, give us love.